All right, so as you guys are probably finding out, I geek out over stuff like this. And what I've got here is the Uber Chill. Now, this is a refrigerator that can be used to either cool things, as you can expect, or actually warm things up. So the thought is for camping, maybe for your lunch, going to work, um, whatever you do. So I'm actually really uh, excited to crack into this. Uh, I like the packaging already. Uh, welcome to the Uber Life. Um, pretty neat little box, so let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, we're greeted with some instructions. Let's get the Uber Chill out. I'm like way too excited about this. I don't know why I like this stuff so much, but I don't know. I just think it's cool. Something this small, inexpensive. All right, so that's everything in the box. Plastic off. All right, so um, this is plastic. Not sure if you can hear that, but let's see, there's got to be some cord somewhere. Let's open her up. Yep, there we go. So what we've got here, I believe there should be two types of cords. And sure enough, we've got one for the car and we've got a regular US outlet here. So. Um, yeah, it's kind of a cool looking little fridge. So let's go ahead and just kind of inspect the unit here, see what we think. So on the back, we've got a off, cool, and our 12 volt and our 110 volt outlet spot. So I don't know, let's go plug her in and see what happens. All right, so let's check out and see how long of a cord they give. All right, a couple feet. I'll uh, go ahead and plug it into the back of the unit. Alright, so we're plugged in there. And plug it in here and let's go ahead and fire it up. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can hear that there, but it's got a little bit of a fan sound. And Sure, it's going to take a little bit to get it cooled, but let's go ahead. Let's run it for a while. We'll come back and we'll see how she does. So, overall, pretty quiet actually. It does make a sound, but it's actually a very good linear sound, so I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, it actually looks pretty nice too. It's not going to take up a lot of space on your counter. As a size reference, there's my hand. I mean, that's not not anything huge, so. Um, yeah, let's let it run for a little bit. Actually, I'll plug in my uh, my watt meter and we'll see how much power draw this takes. So, be right back. Okay, so what I want to do here is actually test the power draw on this. So I've shut it off here for a couple minutes. And then we're going to go ahead, make sure it's all zeroed out so you can see that. We are on zero, zero. We'll plug it in, see if it draws any power while off a little bit of a surge there and it looks like we're taking a half of watt a half of a watt off so let's go ahead I'm gonna flip it to let's go on the warm side first and see what that draws flick it to warm and we're gonna let it run for a second just so it kind of steadies out for a little bit all right so for something that warms 50 Oh, it's still dropping. Say 50 watts is actually pretty good. I mean, that is pretty low. That's less than a light bulb, a traditional light bulb. So, all right, let's go ahead, shut it off. And if you read the instructions, it says between heating and cooling, you should wait at least five minutes. So I didn't have that running very long, so let's go ahead for time's sake and switch it to cold. Now let's just see what the cold takes here. Again, we're sitting right around 50 watts. So, just a hair under, which is pretty fantastic for a refrigerator. 
Okay, so I thought a good test here would be to actually put one of these inside. I just started the Uber Chill up. And let's go ahead and just see how quickly it chills. All right, so it's closed nice and tight. And right now we're at 78.1. We wanna look at the top number. And right now it is about quarter to eight. So let's go ahead and see what it does. Okay, so a little update. We're at two hours and it has dropped about 25 degrees. So still looking pretty good. We'll update in the morning. Okay, so after running for about 10 hours here, we're at 47.3 degrees. All right, so we're gonna run another test here. And as you can see, um, temperature on the top and bottom are about the same, or they're exactly the same now. So I got the sensor in here. Let's go ahead and shut the door. And we are gonna try out this uh, heated setting. So we'll go ahead and flick it to hot. And the fan makes the same sound as it does with the cooling feature. And it is 74.8, and it is right now about 8.30. So we will come back in a little bit and see how quickly it heats up. So it's only been not even 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's gone up by a little bit more than 15 degrees. And I'm sure you could get it even, you know, up to 25, 30 degrees within 15 minutes. Then it shuts off and then it starts up, so it must be getting somewhat close to its maximum temperature here. Um, so that's pretty neat that it heats up that quickly. Okay, another test is to see how many cans we can fit, and sure enough, we can get six. So we get two in the top like this, and then there's four in the bottom. And then this tray actually will come out. And as far as a water bottle, that's a little bit more tricky. Um, it does fit just barely in there, but it doesn't really want to go all the way to the back. So as you can see, it's not really going in. You can angle it like this and still get a couple cans. So you could fit one bottle of water in that size and two cans easily, maybe even a third across the top. That gets a little dicey, but yeah, so that's what it'll fit. Thank you. 